if we could have the children come up uh, for the children's message. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I see we have a new um, visitor today. I think her name is um, Ileana, right? So why don't we welcome her real quick? Say hello. Oh, Ripley's coming. Maybe. Or not. It's all good. But, uh, <laughs> and it's the rewind. But, uh, uh, but welcome, everyone. Now, I need you to... I know everyone's not old enough or you are too old enough to do this. So um, can someone read me these numbers here? All right. It's, why don't we do it all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at that, Val. You are a precocious one. All right. So here we see one, two, three, four. Now, why do I ask you this? You know, when you go to the doctor, you know what they always ask you? Actually, it's one to 10, but my printer was weird. It couldn't get all the numbers on one page. But, but they always ask you, or the nurses might ask you. I know Ruth might know what I'm talking about here. But they might ask you, from a scale of one to 10, how? Oh, wow. Look at that. How is your pain? Now, again, they always ask, right? And sometimes you, you, the lower the number, the better, right? Oh, well, it's a six or a five or a four. And when it's a 10, that's not. That's not good, right? But I guess my other question today would be in the same way, um, the question for you today is how well are you doing? On a scale from one to six, six being, uh, well, not good, and one being great, what can you say about that? From a scale of one to six, how well are you doing? Anyone? One. one. Oh, good answer. Um, anyone else have an answer? Six being not so good, one being the best. How you're doing? Anyone else? Three. Three. Good. I think a lot of people here could resonate with that. <laughs> right? <laughs> you are mature beyond your years, Avery. All right. Uh, but um, I guess my question is, uh, for, for those of you who have answered, why, why did you say one? Why are you well? You're at church. Good. Good. Very good. Very good. You're thankful for a lot, a lot of things that you have, right? Very good. Very good. Uh, Avery, uh, why did you say three? Just a guess, but you don't have to be too deep about it. But, uh, <laughs> but um, because sometimes things are good and sometimes things are not so good. It's always up and down. And, and I guess for all of us here, as Emily said, you know why? We're all number one. You know why we're doing so great? Do you know why? Do you know why we're doing so great? Because of Jesus, right? Through all the things that we go through in our life, and we go through a lot of tough things. You guys are only how old? Seven, eight, nine, three, two, five. You're all in a different age range, and there's a lot of things that you're going to go through. Trust me, there's a lot of good days and there's, there's a lot of bad days. But do you know what stays the same? Do you know what stays the same? It's Jesus. Jesus who died on the cross for your sins. Jesus who rose from the dead to give you eternal life. For there he forgives you all your sins and there you are a child of God. And no matter what happens in your life, you are well. Because you're covered by the promise of Jesus and what he has done for you. You are covered in the water and word of your baptism, where there you are also well. And I know life is tough. Trust me, at your age, you might say, man, life is tough, right? But as you get older, you'd be like, man, life is tough, right? But at the same time, life is good because Jesus is your Savior. And that will never change because Jesus has finished his work for you. And because of it, you are a child of God and that your name is written in the book of life as all of your sins are washed away. And that is why you will always be well. Jesus, remember that. Your faith is Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time. Lord, uh, we thank you for making us well. In our sin, you send us your Son, our Savior, to die on the cross for us. Bless these children always to know in faith that, Lord, you have made them well, and they will always be well, all by what you have done freely and by your grace. 
that you have done for them. Bless these little children, guide them in the faith, guard them from every evil foe and, and danger. And Lord, lead them always in your light, the light of Christ. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.